to the world's most ridiculous first class and I have it all to myself. I start my journey today in Dubai, the home of Emirates. When flying first, you get an inclusive S-Class transfer from anywhere in the UAE. I was collected from my hotel and driven over to the airport. So that was a nice smooth transfer, took around 15 minutes. Emirates also have their own dedicated first and business class check-in area, which is where we are here. So let's check in for our flight. After check-in, I headed for the first class lounge, which is the entire upper floor of the terminal. It was totally deserted. I must have been the only person in there. I went straight to the restaurant and ordered some steak. After I'd eaten, I chilled out in the lounge, checked out the cigar room, had a massage, and then headed for my gate. Today, my flight is bound for my home of London. Stepping onto this 777 is quite unlike any of my previous boarding experiences. All suites feature floor to ceiling privacy, something unrivaled in the aviation industry. Right guys, welcome on board. I have literally got on board and I've already been poured a delicious glass of champagne. Cheers. Let me show you around this epic suite. It was at this point I realized I had all of first class to myself. I've got my one just, just over there, in this one. Further down the aisle, we have this middle suite here, complete with virtual windows. But how weird is that? That's so bizarre, actually. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. Let's take a look at the other one. Just in case I get bored, you know, I can choose between whatever one I was in. It was now time for takeoff, so I swapped out my shoes for the provided mega comfy Emirates slippers. We pushed back and after a short taxi, it wasn't long before we were airborne. I really enjoyed watching takeoff on the massive in-flight entertainment screen in front of me. Of course, in my cabin, I have been provided with some binoculars, which is quite frankly, absolutely ridiculous. Tell you what, a great addition. I never knew I needed these. Here's something I bet you've not seen on a plane before. Video calling for room service. Oh wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Hi. <laughs> I don't need anything at the minute, but I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> so the leg room is ridiculous, look at this. Come join me on the floor, because there's so much room. What I wanted to point out to you guys, now, I don't know why this is necessary, there are LEDs on the floor. Because why not, right? You can eat whenever you like on first class, but as I'm always hungry, let's get stuck in. I am gonna try caviar, not something that I would usually eat. But considering the circumstances, the lemon, it tastes like the sea. For my main course today, I went for the beef short ribs, which were tender and incredibly tasty. The dessert, I went for the chocolate truffle slice, which was decadent, but it's what came next which tops it. This here, right, is called Hennessy Paradise. It's cognac. I mean, it smells wonderful, but the fact about it is that it costs over a thousand pounds for one bottle. I'm gonna try it. I mean, it tastes good. And again, what do I know? I love a hot towel. The crew have very kindly made up one of the other sweets for me. In fact, I'm gonna be enjoying the sweet with the virtual windows for somewhere to get a bit of rest. But this brings me on to the pyjamas. Now, these are my pyjamas. I, I, I mean, what the hell? It looks like, it doesn't know there's pyjamas in here, but there are. Something you need to know about this is that apparently they are moisturizing pyjamas. So, I'm gonna go and change. The moisturizing pyjamas. Good look, right? 
now I am going to take a break. I think I'm going to have a little sleep, maybe a 30 minute nap, just to, just to say I've slept on this plane really. Let's go over to my other suite. From the comfort of my sweet bed, I thought I would tell you guys about what you can do with the lighting. So, if you look around here now, we've got like a, a ready lighting going on, right? So, over here is your individual control panel. There's one of these at every suite. And as well as controlling whatever color you want, so I don't know, say we wanna go, go bluey, you see? or perhaps like a white or a green and then you can adjust like the brightness of it it's honestly it's mental but the other thing i wanted to show with you is that you can individually adjust the heat of your cabin one of my biggest pet peeves with airlines is not providing individual air nozzles <laughs> i've never had a problem with not being able to control the exact temperature that my seat is at, but of course on Emirates you, you can do just that. Unbelievable. You've got a mini bar as well. Now on the other Emirates first class, you've got it in your seat. I'll roll to a clip now so you can see what that looks like. It's very cool. However, on here, it opens like this. And you can see we have a bunch of stuff. You've got this awesome mirror that pops up, and then, I don't know what this is, you've got towel app, facial toner, eye cream, and something else. You have a writing kit. Do I need a writing kit? It's pretty random, but sometimes you might want to write. You also get a basket of just some snacks, basically, popcorn, The seat is a pretty unique one and offers some really flexible seating adjustments. Most notably is the zero gravity bed. Can't say I felt it, but it was definitely very comfortable. To save having to continually adjust, you can hit any of the predetermined positions such as dining and the seat will spring into that setting. At this point in the flight, I thought it would be interesting to compare what business class is like, seeing as this is their newest version of it. Whilst aesthetically it looks amazing, the 232 config coupled with seats not having direct aisle access leaves a lot to be desired. If it was me, I'd pick that older A380 configuration for business class any day. It provides greater privacy, plus you get an awesome onboard bar. I've done a separate video on this, which I've linked below. Heading back into first class, I thought we'd compare the true window view to the virtual ones in flight. If we carry on down here, by the way, note the starline ceiling. You can't deny these are very impressive. On direct comparison, they really aren't as good as the real thing. Of course, you can't replicate the depth of the view and the brightness, but for me, they have that unique and cool factor which you cannot get elsewhere. When I travel again on Emirates, I'd certainly consider a middle seat for the experience. We're not that far out from coming into land. I just wanted to share how cool the crew are today. They wrote me a card. Guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure flying with you. And seeing as we didn't have a huge amount of time left on board, the crew offered me a delicious afternoon tea complete with scones, Cornish clotted cream and jam. And with that, I got changed and stowed my bag ready for landing. Bye bye. Right, so we have now arrived 
in London. And I have to say, that was definitely the best flight I've ever had. It's a big claim, I know, but it was absolutely unbelievable.